What's up guys, today we're in Las Vegas and we're gonna be doing a hotel Las Vegas back and biceps workout. So first we're gonna show you guys our room. Uh, we're staying at the Aria right now. We just made some money off Sean Strickland winning. Um, here's our beds. Obviously my, I feel like my bed's nicer than my brother's bed, but, and then here's our view over here, which is honestly pretty insane. Then bathroom's a little bit dirty, but this is kind of what the bathroom looks like. Here I am. It's about nine o'clock right now, Las Vegas time. So we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna get some donuts because my brother Mario loves donuts and they give you a pretty good pump. And they're actually high glycemic carbs, so they actually digest really fast. So we're gonna destroy these donuts here. Uh, this is a new game day overtime pre-workout. If you guys want some pre-workout, I'll leave a link in the description. Use code Martine. And we were gonna use some Fiji water, but my brother looked it up. Apparently the Fiji water, if we took that off of the shelf there, we'd be charged $22 per bottle. And I mean, tap water's not that bad anyway, so. We were thinking like $10 maybe, $22. Yeah. Literally he was telling me, he was like, how much is the Fiji water? I was like, Oh, probably like $10. We'll just do it for $10. He looked it up $22 for that little bottle of Fiji. All right, so we just got to the Aria Fitness Center. It's actually pretty nice. Um, you can do whatever you need to do. They don't have a squat rack. They have a Smith machine. And knowing us, you guys know that we're obviously not going to do a Smith machine. But looks like we're going to start with pull-ups first. But we're going to use this lap pull-down just to get warmed up a little bit. Uh, my brother was using it. It's like kind of like a weird like machine kind of thing. You guys will see it when I start. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. All right, so we're going to start with pull-ups just because we don't have access to like a barbell row or like deadlifts, so pull-ups are a great option. One of my favorite exercises because of the core demand, as well as being able to use your own body weight. I think pull-ups has to be probably my favorite lat exercise. Try and do a heavy eccentric because we don't have a chain or anything to do weighted pull-ups. So yeah, we're just winging it today, but if you guys are looking for like structured athletic bodybuilding programs, my brother and I just released our Ultimate Athletic Bodybuilding Academy, where not only do you have access to a push-pull leg workout every month, but also access to us. So I'll leave a link in the description, and if you guys use code VEGAS, you'll get 20% off your first month. Alright, so Mario here. So with the pull-ups, recently I've been trying like a different form on it, which has led to more lat growth. So when you do a pull-up, when you're pulling, you come down like this. When you come up, which is when you come down on the pull-up, you want to flare your arm out. That gives you a really good stretch on your lat and led to a lot of growth for me. Our second exercise is gonna be dumbbell row. Um, just for you guys who work out at home, this is a great example of kind of like our mindset of what we would do at home just because we have access to the gym all the time. But since we just did a vertical pulling motion, we wanna do a horizontal pulling motion here and tire at the mid back, so we're gonna be doing dumbbell rows. All right, so third exercise is gonna be straight arm lat pull down. The reason why I really like this exercise is because all of the other back movements typically involve using the biceps just to flex the elbow. But this one, you keep your elbow straight. So it's a unique way to hit your lats. Plus, it's a great way to get your stretch, a good stretch at the top. I feel like it's one of the best exercises to get a stretch of your lats. We would be using a rope, but the rope is taken just because with the rope, you can actually go around your hips. And usually with a straight bar, you get blocked by your hips, but we got a straight bar, so that's what we're gonna use. Just focus on getting a good stretch at the top and getting a good contraction at the bottom. All right, so just finished hitting back. My lats are freaking fried. Got a pretty good workout in for the limited amount of equipment we have, but in between back and biceps, I like to hit posture, just almost like a cool down, especially because your biceps are worked in lots of the back movements. So we're gonna be doing T raises to isolate the mid traps. Posture integration is in both my beginner program and in the Ultimate Athletic Bodybuilding Academy. So if you guys are looking to work on your posture too, I found a way to integrate it into your normal bodybuilding routine so it's not like extra work for you to do it. Form is so important for this one because lots of people get their rear delts involved and we're looking to hit the mid traps here because the rear delts are hitting so many movements that your rear delts are typically not weak, it's your mid traps. We're gonna be doing palms up, makes it easier to get the rear delts out of the movement. And we're gonna be doing high reps because form is so important here. And we're gonna be going for more of a burn and just focusing more on the mind muscle connection to just hit the mid traps. All right, so now to start biceps, we're gonna be doing chin ups. Chin ups have to be my favorite exercise for biceps, not only because they're a compound movement, but you can load them up like crazy. So we don't have a chain, like I said earlier, but my brother and I, when we're doing heavy chin ups, we can do like a plate for like eight reps, over a little over 200 pounds. The most I could probably barbell curl is about 100 pounds. So that just shows you how much you can load up your biceps on the chin up. But make sure when you're doing chin ups, do not think about using your back. Think about curling yourself up to the bar so we focus more on bicep engagement. More fatiguing, so wanna be doing this when our biceps are more fresh. All 
All right, so Martin's big brother here. So with chin-ups, I like focusing on moving at the elbow because that's where the bicep is moving, right? Versus if you think about pulling your whole body up or moving at the shoulder, you feel it more in your lats. And you wanna think about doing like a header against the bar because that allows you to curl your arm or move at the elbow. All right, second exercise, we're gonna be doing dumbbell bicep curls. Because we did a heavier movement with like lower reps for chin-ups, we're gonna be doing higher reps here lower weight, focusing on pushing through the burn. The Aria staff here is so chill, like they really don't even care if we're recording. So um, yeah, I just wanna thank the Aria staff. All right, so I train people in real life and with the bicep curl, they always mess up because what they do is they'll curl all the way up here and they almost get a pause up here. You wanna stop a little sooner. I had this one client who I told her to stop a little sooner and she was talking about how much she felt it because your bicep is always in constant tension when you're here, but here I can sit here all day. So you'll see I don't go all the way up, but I start a little short. It takes practice to find where that ideal spot is, but eventually you'll get it. All right guys, last exercise. My biceps and my lats are fried here, so that's how you know you've had a good workout. And honestly, we've had a pretty good workout, especially with, like I said before, limited equipment here, no barbell. We did a body weight exercise, and then we did a free weight exercise, so now we're gonna do cable exercise here. We're gonna be doing cable hammer curls. Uh, if you're working out at home, if you don't have access to cables, just do normal hammer curls. But we're gonna be doing cable hammer curls here with the rope to hit the brachialis and brachioradialis, so kind of get that width in the bicep and then uh, build the largest muscle in your forearm. All right, just finished the back and bicep workout. We figured we'd go out in the pool for the outro just because uh, we wanted to give you guys a little look at the pool here. So first I wanna thank the Aria because I honestly thought that they were gonna get mad at us recording, but they did not care, which is awesome. Uh, I also wanna thank you guys because we wouldn't be able to do mini vacations like this if it wasn't for the support of you guys, especially with me having to withdraw from PT school. You know, I wasn't really sure how that would work out and it's worked out amazing because of your guys' support. Again, use code Vegas to get 20% off your first month of your program. And again, thank you guys for the support and we'll see you next time.